What's up mga kamamas at mga kapaps and welcome once again to my channel. So para sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin at ngayon lang bumisita sa aking channel, I'm Clifford. I love cooking and baking. I'm a dance and singing enthusiast, an event coordinator, and of course, a teacher in profession. Kaya ngayon, gagawa ako ng tutorial series about Google Classroom para sa ating mga kapwa guro. Ngayon ay kinakaharap natin ng isang pandemya o problema hindi lang ng ating bansa maging ng mundo which is the coronavirus or COVID-19. So within with this situation, hindi tayo pwedeng lumabas. Ika nga ni Queen Q, bawal lumabas. Kaya nagpanukala ang kagawaran ng edukasyon ng tinatawag na distance learning wherein si teacher at si students ay hindi na kailangan mag-meet face to face. So, kahit nasa bahay sila, magkakaroon ng tinatawag ng, patu- ng pagtuturo or learning no? through the what we call different modes of teaching or yung alternative learning modalities. And isa na nga ron ay paggamit ng internet. One of that is the what we call Google Classroom. Kaya kung gusto mong matuto at malaman kung paano gamitin ang Google Classroom, ipagpatuloy mo lang panunood mo. Welcome to part 1 of our Google Classroom tutorial series. In this session, I will be teaching you how to add a class and students in Google Classroom. If it's your first time to hear Google Classroom, it enables the teachers to create an online classroom area in which they can manage all the documents that their students need. If you want to know how the Google Classroom works, Let's begin. First, type in the search engine classroom.google.com. Sign into your Google account and it's good to go. For you to add a class on your Google Classroom, just click the plus icon on the upper right of the page. Dialog box will pop up and check the checkbox icon for agreement and click continue. Create Plus dialog box will appear and provide the necessary information for your class and it is required. Congratulations and welcome to your first class! If you want to customize the theme of your class, just click Select Theme on the lower side of the image theme and choose the designated theme that you want. Then click the Select Theme button. You can also upload photo if you want. Let us now proceed on adding your students. In adding or inviting your students, just click the class code that can be found on the center left side of the team image. And that is the code that you need to share to your students. You can change the code if it's a bit complicated. By clicking the settings or the gear icon under the general settings, click the drop down arrow on the right side of the class code and click reset to generate a new code. A notification will pop up if you successfully reset the class code. Then close the settings once you're done. Going back, Make sure that all your students have the class code. For them to join, proceed to Google Classroom site and sign in with their Google account. Click the plus icon and choose Join Class. Type the class code and click Join to proceed. Going back on your account, click the People tab on the upper part of the page and you will see the list of your students. You can also add manually your students by clicking this icon, type their email address, and click invite. A message will be sent to your students inviting them to join in your class. In addition, you need to require your students to use their real first and last name and also having their decent photo display of their account because if not, you will be having a difficulty to locate your students. If you select a student, you have a several options on the Actions tab. 
you can email, remove, or mute your chosen student. You can also invite other teachers, especially their subject teachers, for collaboration. Just click this icon and type their email address, click invite to send invitation. So easy, right? If this walkthrough is too fast for you, just pause the video for you to add your class and your students on your own page. The number of class you create will depend on the number of class you are handling. You can also add other classes like classes for remediation or classes for other students who are advanced. If this video helps you a lot, don't forget to like, share to other people, and of course subscribe! And for you to be updated for my new videos, just hit the bell button. That's all for now and see you on my next video! Yeah!